Linda here. I'm going to talk to you today about the best use of sets and locations. And the reason I'm doing this is because I promised you that I would explain how you could achieve in sets a scene in which a jockey is pushed from his horse in a race and trampled at a racetrack with great crowds and all sorts of wonderful effects. I said we could do that in sets. Okay, let's do that. All right, so how would you do that? Well, realistically, that's probably going to be too expensive for most budgets. If you were doing a, some kind of TV series or a, a film that actually was all about jockeys and races and so on, well, then you, you would include it. But if you're using this uh, just as a means to kill the jockey off in a dramatic fashion, if that's all you need to do, well, we have to look at, look at um, other ways to do it, I would suggest. Now, the thing is, with, always with this, is that you go back to what the plot point is. You don't just write on the run, you go back to what the, what the point is that you're trying to get across. If all you want to get across is that the jockey is killed, well, then there's other ways that we can do it. Now, let's imagine, first of all, that we have a location in the stables, because we've, we've already been there once for some other scenes. Well, what we could do there is that we could use the, the stable location we could have the jockey talking to somebody briefly or just walking towards a stall, going into uh, the stall with the horses. We don't see inside, we just hear that the horse is, is um, attacking him. And then we come back to perhaps where the killer is uh, just smiling or whatever. All right, so we could use, if we had one location, don't do stuff uh, unless you're already doing it with lots of horses and all of that, because it's really expensive, animal wranglers and all that sort of thing and racetracks and crowds is phenomenally expensive. So unless you've got a massive budget, which is unlikely, don't do the horses, <laughs> all right? Now, how could we do it in sets? Well, I would look at this in rather a different way. I would, let's, work, let's look at the idea of involving some other characters and telling the story in rather a different way, actually richer, in a richer way, I think. Um, what we could have is that the person who is instructing the killer in the fact that he wants this jockey killed, is talking to the killer, right? So we've got the boss and the killer. They're in a room and we could make that room, if you like, near the race course. And all we need to have, it's, an, it's a set, it's actually in the studio, of course, but what we have is we have the a, a loudspeaker announcing the races, we have the crowd noises, all of that sort of thing. You can do that cheaply, all right? Just a small set, even a half set, you could get away with that. All right, so there's that. We could then see the um, we could see the, the the boss telling the killer what to do. The killer saying yes, I'll certainly do that. Then a little while later, we come back to the boss in the office, and the loudspeaker is announcing the race, and perhaps the uh, the boss is just looking out of the window. Of course, it would be a window covered in a curtain or something, or in some way not revealing that it was a, that it was a, a set, but that you then have um, the loudspeaker going and then we'd hear the crowd, horror of the crowd because apparently there's been a terrible accident and on the loudspeaker we could hear that the, um, that the jockey had been killed, all right? Remember, sound effects. The other thing that we could do if we, if we had a little bit more money, we could have a corner set in the area where the jockeys get changed, just a few um, hat stands, coat pegs and so on with, or a locker with a jockey's um, outfit inside and, and he or she, I suppose, is getting dressed in their jockey's outfit. And then we'd uh, cut to another scene, but then we could go um, to the office or whatever uh, and, and have the sound effects and some and stock footage of racetracks or whatever. You can get away with this inexpensively. And the reason that you can most easily get away with it is if you plan carefully. You have to plan in television because you have to forward plan extensively. But do you see how you can do it? It's just a way of thinking about it. Now, instead of just going with the idea, oh yes, it's going to be in a, going to be smashed to pieces in a race and so on, um, think about the, the aim. What are you trying to do? And think of ways to do it in the studio. Think sideways. That's the art of television. And you know what? The audience would never even dream. They wouldn't recognize that they hadn't had the racetrack if you do it properly. All right, that's my tip. Bye-bye.